Good morning, the day is April 15th, 2020. This is Harley with Gardenapple.com. I am just going reviewing my uh, sugar apple trees. Um, we are in current full bloom. And this is a Kampong Mui variety. And as you can see, sugar apples all along here there too we go over to the right a little bit then we have this tree this is a typical red up oh, typical green sugar apple I do hand pollinate but I have several uh, natural pollinators always around which if you don't know what those are they seem to lead beetles oh my god he needs to get off of here before he breaks more of my avocado tree oh and he might have broke a limb okay buddy i'm holding you while i do my my thing <laughs> okay now let's go over here this sugar apple tree now many of my sugar apples a lot of them have flowers and a lot of them are now just creating their flowers so this is one of them for example that has its first one almost ready first couple actually now realizing it these things grow fast here's one in pot and as you could tell i missed a missed a flower to pollinate although this one might have gotten naturally uh pollinated because right around all my sugar apples here's a uh, red llama which is doing really beautiful has all this uh new growth the leaves look great <clears throat> okay going back to what i was saying about the composting and having natural uh pollinators that is why because i have a lot of rotting vegetables now this is about six feet, this hole, filled with vegetables and fruits, and then over here is another one. Over here is another one. Right over here I just have uh, Lisa at the Moyas. Now this Lisa de Moya's leaf is huge, and I think it's gonna have flowers this year. It's the first year in the ground. Now I bought these two Lisa de Moya's, another one. Um, when they were absolutely just a stick, literally nothing else. So I took, I bought these back in, I think, uh, October. So everything was literally this is Priestley at the Monia, which doesn't have the flower as of now. And this is the mystery at the Monia, which I posted on rare tropical fruit form. And we're trying to identify it because it does have red growth, kind of like red new growth, sort of like the red llama does. But it kind of looks like a uh, Timoya, or we are, we're thinking we're linea too because of its rivets. So we don't know, we just have to wait till that one. Uh, fruits Right back here This is a uh, Gefner at the Moya, which has its flowers coming Gefner at the Moya, this one's gonna this is a nice size tree. I think it's gonna produce really well this year um now this is everything here is its first year in the ground i planted all this back in uh let's say december december january so you know everything is looking great so far everything is flourishing and everything that i planted here as far as the uh, known is, they were leafless when i planted them like one or two leaves very baby leaves so beautiful uh kampong mauve this one I pollinated yesterday, I believe on a flower. Mm, right there. So 
So as you can see, I pollinated right here. And this one, as well as so many, so many flowers. Let's see if we can get this branch in focus. So you can see that branch just filled with them all over. Right over here, have another sugar apple. Now this one is just starting, one of those uh, that are just starting to get their flowers. This one had no branches when I bought it, except it's two. I like this one when I bought it because they had pretty uh, nice crotch angles. Now it's getting its branches. A tip if you're buying sugar apple at a nursery and uh, you wanted to have a lot of fruits on it, Make sure you get it, the ones with branches, sort of like this one. How this one already has a lot of branches going out. Uh, like this one as well. This one has a lot of branches uh, going out. And as you see, the, the amount of flowers that just, you know, are loaded on these. I'm trying to see what else. Now this is a Vietnamese sugar apple. Um, this one is doing very well. As you can see, it already has uh, some flowers coming, ready to be pollinated within the next day or so. Uh, this one's in a pot, uh, purple sugar apple, Kampong Muab, I believe. This, these varieties, the purple ones, my property, the, my grower said she wasn't sure about the exact kind, but her friend, is apparently an Anona connoisseur and tries to collect them all. So she got these trees from someone who apparently loves Anonas as well. So I'm hoping I get a good purple variety. Oh, here we have a male flower which I pollinated yesterday. And uh, this tree's in a pot. This one's a little baby tree, so I'm not gonna let these things hold more than three fruit on them. Now, I don't expect those three fruit to get big whatsoever. Hey, watch out for the papaya, baby. All my cats have broken my fruit trees. None of my sugar apples so far, so I'm happy. But the papayas and stuff, they break in and whatsoever. Okay, over here we have three uh, kind of lonely sugar apples. This one I had to re repot because it was dying on me, but look, it has new growth all over. So that's cool. This one... There's some flowers coming. Uh, I didn't really have much hope for these sugar apples. These were given to me very cheaply because they're like, they're just sticks when I got them. Very malnourished. I didn't think they were gonna make it, but that's cool. We can enjoy some fruit on that. <sighs> More sugar apple. This sugar apple is just starting to get its flowers, which I found strange because this is a pretty thick sized sugar apple tree. Um, although, yeah, it's starting to get the flowers now, but I don't mind, you know. We have a lot of trees on here that have flowers. So I guess some flowers later in the season will be nice and some fruit. Now this is a pretty nice sugar apple tree sized. As you can see compared this one's much taller. This one ends about here. This one's all the way about here. Um, now this one, I have yet to see a flower. This one was heavily pruned back, very heavily pruned back. So as you can see, the vigorous amount of uh, uh, branch is that are forming all over the place. Uh, I hope this one will have fruit. I'm almost positive it will because I have another one that I pruned just as hard and it has fruit. Back here we have a soursop, which honestly I kind of don't pay much attention to. Um, so I, I want to take better care of that because I want to cultivate the soursop. But it's so hard here. 
you know, can in my home country, Colombia, your sour shop is everywhere. <laughs> so easy to cultivate over there and here. It's just so hard. Um, this is a San Pablo red custard apple. But it has shown no signs of growth since I got it. I got this one from flnurserymart.com, I believe. Uh, it came beautiful. It had like all these leaves all along here and it's just been losing them ever so slowly. So I'm hoping, you know, that will actually snap back because I would love a red custard apple. <laughs> So <clears throat> here we have a Thai sugar apple. Now this one has kind of grown slower than the other ones. This one's in pot, but uh, it's just in a regular five gallon uh, paint bucket. It has some nice leaves on it, it but I was kind of overwatering it. It does have some leaves, some flowers. But it's growing now. <clears throat> I've noticed that my nonas, some of them are just growing really fast and other ones are taking their time. I think it's due just um, to the tree and also the soil and, you know, certain things, but. Oh, I for almost forgot. Right behind it is Atamoya. I believe this is Gefner. Um, we have flowers already. So I'm really excited for this one because I have yet to have a uh, atemoya and this one's in a really nice pot. So we have two atemoyas or two of this Gefner atemoya in uh, the ground and one in pot. So walking over here, here we have another sugar apple tree. This is a uh, Vietnamese and a Dai sugar apple. Uh, this this plant is just getting its flowers it's one of those trees that have uh are kind of slow on getting its flowers but like i said i, I don't mind now this sugar apple tree right here is probably my best one so far at having fruit as you can see, there's the sugar apple for me. This one was pin pollinated about, uh, I would say four or five days ago. So it's really good progress compared to my other trees that I pollinate that have been pollinated around the same time. Don't have uh, the fruit set that have grown to this size. So, this is good. And this tree I was kind of concerned about too because it's starting to get yellow leaves. And it's I think it's because right here we have a sprinkler system and it's always watering these flowers very well, but it's um, unfortunately this area gets watered too much and I can't really control that because we have a well system and when it's on, that's on and I don't know. Oh, look, look at all these sugar apples. So these sugar apples are ones I got uh from colombia these tiny ones right here i got from a seed uh from a fruit that i ate in colombia that was huge and uh they're doing really well these little bigger ones i got from a lady at the flea market they were much smaller when i got them but as you can see uh some of them even have flowers now i don't know if i'll let these tiny plants flower i might just to see the little fruit on them but these plants are no taller um than a foot i would say very small already bearing flowers I believe these are maybe two years old, but these ones from Colombia are um, 
four months old. So, oh, okay, so right next to this one is another one. Now this is another one that's in a, kind of a bit of a flood zone area. Kind of, con I'm concerned about it when the summer months come. You see uh, yellow leaves, yellow leaves. But it does have a lot of new growth everywhere too. So uh, I don't know if it's because of that or, but I've kind of tried to uh, keep that down a little bit. Now right here I have a Rolinia. Now this Rolinia was concerning to me because when I first got it, it had nothing on it. And then it started shooting out all this beautiful growth. But there's like a few leaves that are looking good, like this one. And then there's some that are really curved and kind of all chewed up. Now, I don't know if it's because of a pest. I've been looking at these and they don't seem to have much pest damage, but the tree looks sort of healthy, but then the leaves are kind of like concerning. So we'll see how this one, how this Rolinia is to come in the future. But as you can tell, it's like, it looks healthy, but it just looks weird up here. Like this is not good. This sugar apple is probably one of my favorite sugar apple trees I purchased. I got this way back in, I believe December. And I pruned it super hard. It had a, <clears throat> this tree had a beautiful canopy and I uh, pruned it back really hard. So this one actually has a flower coming uh, let's see if we can get enough. So there's a flower. And this one I planted before I knew really how to plant uh, fruit trees um, efficiently. So this one's in actually really heavy soil, but it's doing well. And this one actually was a slower tree to start producing any sort of new growth. But I'm happy that it uh, pushed through all that mucky soil and uh, is doing really well. So. So right over here, I have another sugar apple. Now this one actually set fruit really nicely. As you could see, it has a fruit set. And now this one, the fruit isn't as large as the previous uh, tree that I showed with the fruit set. But uh, it's coming along really nicely. I think it's because it's just holding so much. And as you can see here, I have a male flower that I have to collect its pollen from. I have to uh, do my round this morning and pollinate all the females if they're ready. I haven't done my round yet, but this one as well, as you can see, it has new growth, uh, new flowers coming, and as well as already pollinated flowers. So let's go over here. Here we have another one that's pollinated. This one had one. Um, <clears throat> this one had one, but I missed it. As you can see, and this sugar apple is kind of my experiment sugar apple, to be honest, because I planted it, because I planted it in an area where it's pretty shaded, but it's doing really good. So you can see new growth, new growth everywhere. It is a bit slower on the growth, uh, but that's just because it's in a shaded area, but it's, uh, it's doing really good. Here we have the Gefner at the Moya. Now this is one of those ones that I purchased. I purchased three of these trees and they also uh, came with no leaves. 
and these were planted a few weeks ago. So that's why that uh, if I had purchased these a while ago, maybe two or three months back, I'm almost positive these would be more filled with leaves because my other etamoyas started producing leaves at uh, around two months ago in the ground. Here we have another uh, sugar apple. This one has more leaves than flowers, but it's starting to get flowers. As you can see. All along there. This one had a pretty bad aphid problem, but I, I didn't take care of it. Ladybugs took care of it. Uh, so there's another tip, guys. If you have ladybugs or if you see any, just put them on your plants with aphids and I'm sure they'll take care of any, everything. Here we have another sugar apple tree. This one is just producing its flowers now. As you can see. This is a Vietnamese sugar apple. Here we have a uh, Kampung wave. So this would be a purple sugar apple tree. And uh, this one is not as thick as the other uh, Vietnamese and uh, Thai sugar apple trees I have but as you can see it has flowers which I already pollinated um, let me see mm, okay I think I might need to pollinate those again because something I noticed with these is when I'm pollinating is that when they smell like uh, banana liquor which they should smell the females when that's how you know they're ready or uh, that's how Okay, so I've been pollinating them when they don't smell like the banana liquor, but they're open like that. Because they could look open like this, but they may not smell like uh, banana liquor. But when they smell like banana uh, liquor, um, I've been pollinating them, and I've been pollinating them when they're kind of just normal. So I'm trying to see like what works and uh, what doesn't. But I honestly think that it's when they smell is the best to pollinate them, because I think that's how they're completely ready. And you can also tell when they're ready is because they're usually be uh, fruit flies or hopefully if you're lucky the nitilid beetle will be hanging around the petals uh i think some flies just flew out of this one but i missed it they already flew out anyways this one is also carried <clears throat> with fruit or with flowers you have to be careful because he will more than likely climb a tree if, if he sees me uh, messing with it. So right over here. To the corner of my property. So here then, here's another Vietnamese sugar apple. This one is, I don't see any flowers, but uh, many leaves. Uh, you know, and I don't... I don't doubt that it will have flowers in the next two weeks. So, yep. <coughs> so, right here we have a Vietnamese sugar apple. Or you know what, I think this is a Thai sugar apple. Let me see. I think this is Thai sugar apple. Anyways, this one is filled with uh, leaves, or leaves, obviously, but flowers everywhere. And uh, this one was recently uh, planted here. Me and my mom did like a little landscaping project in the front, and we decided to add a sugar apple. Um, you know, no surprise there, we have sugar apples everywhere. So these sugar apple trees are located just outside of the property. They have done really well on, as far as leaf growth. And uh, even flowers, these have set a few. So I'm excited for these. No, I really hope my neighbors don't pick them off <laughs> when, they're, uh, when they're not ripe. When they're ripe, I don't mind. 
But you see, I have a lot of people, neighbors that walk by and they're always looking at the property, which is no problem, but I just hope they, they don't knock off my beautiful sugar apples, which I work so hard for. Um, which I don't think they will, but look at these beautiful pair of flowers that are almost ready. Now I planted these three set of trees, one, two, three, about a month and a half ago, almost two months ago. And uh, this was kind of another, because as you could see, these are all kind of slightly covered, but it's, I guess it's good because they still get really good sun and uh, they're kind of uh, protected because they are young trees still, but they're gonna be protected from the summer heat and yeah so we are not done with this outside area we're still need to do more but we're more than likely going to add more sugar apples maybe two over there or in, in another part because we did we still have some in pots so our goal is to try to get all of them in the ground um but at the same time you know this area is we're going to save for a banana farm a little banana farm so this might receive one more sugar apple but for the most part it's pretty you know pretty set we have one two three four five six seven just in this front area right here and then in the back there we have around i don't even know i think i counted 40 sugar apples in the ground total no 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 i think it was like 35 in the ground and then like 50 with the pots because I have a lot of including the baby ones my seedlings and everything but in in total I have a lot of sugar apples and as you guys know sugar apples I'm also including Atamoya and my llama so thank you guys so much for watching this video of my sugar apple Atamoya farm now in a few years this is this uh, property is going to be pumping out sugar apples. So, you know, I, I know this year it's going to be pumping out sugar apples too, but the first year is always the year where everything needs to settle down and get established. I cannot wait for the salama. Mm, this salama is beautiful, tall, and uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much. Have a great day and uh, good luck gardening. Bye bye.